Hello and welcome to this video playing Matteo O2. So, get the Karo two knights. Yeah, here e5 is best. Yeah, I'm not a real. I don't know it all that well. I think this is correct. This is not the most critical variation, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure that I know it correctly. No, no, it is okay, I think. It's definitely okay, but uh, probably there is something better. We'll see. This looks a lot like a French defense. Yeah, I wonder if rook h4 is a decent move or if this is just too fancy. I can also take queen e2. I mean, this is a simple solution. Let's do it. Cover f2. I mean, one thing we know, black is not going to castle short in this position. a4. Stop this. Maybe d4 is his move. Okay, so he is castling long. Yeah, here b4 is the is the standard idea. But okay, I have to first probably. Hmm, well, I can also just. Hmm, do I want to develop first bishop f4? Yeah, that looks very uh, healthy, yeah? just develop first. Like h6, I have g4, g5, bishop, g3, that should also be strategically nice. I don't need to necessarily castle short and play like b4 and uh, yeah, play ultra aggressively. It should not be a necessity here. Okay, so what's going on here? If I take it, I don't have a clear continuation, huh? but I can I can do this first and then see what he is up to. Peaks, knight takes, knight takes, queen takes is good. Yeah, this is just going into knight h4 directly, which is maybe not an issue. Admittedly, if I take it, he's going to do what with the pawn? I can also just castle. So, I mean, I'm I'm pretty quick there with b4. I wonder h5 maybe then g5. Nah, not g5. Probably have to take on f6. Hmm, unsure here. Yeah, so b4 takes on g4, takes on c5. Hmm. Hey, come on, let's be quick. I wonder if he takes it on g4, I take c5. Yeah, it goes, just goes back. Okay, here, simple b5 is going to be an idea. Or taking, I mean, taking is quicker. Let's do this. 
What? That's playable? Well, that's shocking. Really? Why? King D8 or what's the what the what's the idea? I'm not I'm completely stunned here. King D8? Is that working? That would be pretty shocking. Maybe it does. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay. So whoa. What's going on here? Uh, check bishop c8. I think I have to take here first. And then see what's going on. Bishop f6. Okay, I can check here. King e7. That's not so great. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to play queen queen e1. Okay. Huh. Weird. Yeah. So d4 he has to play. Otherwise, bishop c7. So he gives up the queen, okay? Check. Checking is undefending f2. Probably not. Check. This maybe. Try to be very quick here, all with tempo. And then he's got the capture. Time warning. In bishop b6 <clears throat> bishop b6 simply yeah my idea was to take g7 but that's that's also controversial probably <laughs> cannot move the pieces here well Check, check back here. Keep everything covered. Uh, bishop h3, maybe. Threatening rook c7 here. That would clarify matters if I can take it. Do I play this d4? Doesn't do that. Takes queen d5, wins stuff. They are both hanging, and rook h6 has g8 hanging, so I think. Check. I think I'm getting there. g3. Let's go g3. Check. Both rooks are undefended. I don't believe Check. he can Check. keep both. Check. Check. Black resigns. Huh, that was that was tricky. Always some somehow tricky, even after the win looked like it was in the bag. Okay, so I'm not, I don't really know. That looks very normal. Takes, takes, and a5, yeah. Well, b4 is maybe a threat. Okay, so I went a4 myself. 
I'm not sure about this now. Instead of this just castling, probably also was a good idea. Completely ignoring everything there. I mean, I still have this B4 thing uh, for me. It wasn't necessary to, to play this bishop f4 and g4. Yeah, the, the engine doesn't like it all that much. No b4, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that gets, it's, it's a total mess now. He went back, yeah. But this, that should be good after b5. So after this, the engine wants to go knight h4. Yes, that was one thing. I was thinking I can also take, but this, this doesn't feel good. Yeah, yeah that's not great. Hmm. Okay, what he took, he go, went back, I went this. Yeah, that looks really, really bad, but it, it did not lose straight away at least not with my play check so this this and bishop f5 is the engine's move <laughs> okay <laughs> so takes rook d1 no no that's strong <laughs> it's definitely strong okay so this this queen d6 is better and now now i'm winning again yeah d4 Queen e5 looks terrible. Now I'm on the dark squares, really. That's a uh, plus five, okay. Check. Yeah, and here I was winning the Check. queen, but things are not that easy. b6 is just trying to play for, for Tempe. And uh, here the b6 pawn is always going to be difficult to play against, but the engine agrees with this. Check. Okay, here it's a draw, <laughs> but uh, you know, this is so so difficult. Rook g5, and this wasn't that good. Queen f3, not this one, but this is also good. Bishop c6, wow. What about my move? Ah, it's also good. Oh, that's, that's cool. I'm happy with that move, that, that looked good, yeah. Looked very forcing. Check. My uh, rook c5 was good. Okay, uh, but uh, but my, my idea was exactly the game that after g3, if he takes it, that this should probably win his stuff. He can probably avoid losing the rook immediately. Check. Yeah. I can take this check. with check, so it's very comfortable. Probably, probably winning for white. I mean, the two rooks are always uh, difficult to play against, but it should be okay. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.